Hello and welcome to News Across Nigeria. I'm Neota Igbe. Coming up on the program today, Muslims in Nigeria celebrate Eid Idil Kabir. Nigerian resident doctors suspend the call for strike. Cross River State embraces the kibbutz system of farming. The main story is now. It's Idil Kabir today, one of the major festivities of the Islamic faith and Muslim faithful in Nigeria have joined their counterparts across the world to celebrate. The holiday is in commemoration of the exemplary life of Prophet Ibrahim, who was asked to sacrifice his son, and just when he was about to do that, God provided a ram as a substitute. In line with this act, the slaughtering of the ram is the most significant activity on this day, and every Muslim home is expected to follow this example and share the meat with neighbors. Although there have been varied socioeconomic challenges in the build-up to this day, the excitement amongst the faithful has not waned. Meanwhile, President Muhammadu Buhari joined his kinsmen in Daura to mark the Idil Kabir with prayers at his hometown in Katsina State. Others who attended the prayers at the Daura Eid grounds include the Emir of Daura, Al Haji Farooq Umar, as well as some of the president's aides. Shortly after the Eid prayers, President Buhari took photographs with some of the Muslim faithful and some members of the National Youth Service Corps. And in the nation's capital, Abuja, Muslims defied the weather and converged on the Abuja National Mosque to observe the prayers. A deputy chief imam who led the prayers called for unity and inter-religious harmony in Nigeria. He asked citizens to live peacefully with each other while appealing to the federal government to work at ending the ongoing industrial action by the Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU. Religion is an instrument of peace, unity, and harmony. Religion, therefore, is a personal affair that must be respected by all parties for the interest of peace, as it is practiced in other parts of the world. Brothers in faith, join me in, the spe in this spirit of Salah, and fatherhood to call on the federal government and the ASU to have a common ground to end the present ASU strike so that our children can go back to their learning activities. Brothers in Islam, it is obligatory on all of us to intensify prayers for peace, security, and good governance and also for the positive development in this country. And also, we continue praying for our president to succeed in his governing the affairs of our country. And in Lagos, self-sacrifice, tolerance, love and peaceful coexistence were words of admonition from clerics and worshippers in Lagos State as it converts on various prayer grounds. At the Obalende prayer grounds, the deputy governor of Lagos, Mrs. Idiot Adebole, as well as other faithful, called on Muslims and Nigerians as a whole to emulate the prophet. The event was also attended by top government functionaries as well as the Oba of Lagos, Oba Rewan Akiolu. I want to enjoy everybody to please take note of the essence of the celebration, which is for all, which is about Prophet Ibrahim's total submission to the will of Almighty God. And what does that mean to us? It means that for us, apart from all submitting to God, we should also respect those in authority above us. And what do we mean? The rules and regulation. That, has been, that is guiding us in the state, let us try to abide by it. All of us, not Lagosians, but all Nigerians, to imbibe the spirit of this festive season, and that is sacrifice. Very few people make the sacrifice, especially those in government. 
So I would like to appeal to those in government to make supreme sacrifice in their uh, daily uh, governance of this country. The sacrifice involves being honest with the country and being honest with the people and to serve the people and not to serve themselves. The real essence of everything is accepting God as the final. And whenever anybody wants to make any decision, this teaches us true to consult. And whatever comes out of it, if it is the wish of Allah, according to his dictates, we should do it. And now we're joined in the knees across two years by Abdul Kabir Oyemani, who is an Islamic educationist. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Uh, let's start by looking at what is the essence of the Idil Kabir? Uh, what should be noted first and foremost in the celebration of this Eid is uh, the fear of Allah, the fear of God in anything we do. Because we should know that uh, our forefather, our father Ibrahim, Ali Salatu was salam, he was uh, made to sacrifice uh, his son, which was later, referred, which was later um, uh, um, uh, replaced by Ram. So if he had not have utmost fear of Allah, he wouldn't be able to do that. He would not be able to follow. That's why Allah says that uh, we don't want the, 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 the flesh does not reach Allah. The flesh of uh, that ram that you sacrificed on that day does not reach Allah. La yanalu la luhmuha wa la dimahuha wa la kinnu yanaluhu taqwa minkum. That is, the fear of Allah is what Allah wants in the whole thing. So the summary of that thing is, we should fear Allah. You should fear Allah at the point of you sacrificing that particular ram at that point in time. It is never, it is never conceivable that somebody that is uh, with sense as a Muslim will now think that you sacrifice any human being for anything in the name of Allah. It is not welcome in Islam. Okay. It is found out. Now, now you said that the sacrifice of the ram as a, which is significant to, or really compared to the sacrifice of the son of Prophet Ibrahim at that time. So, but in the face of the economic situation, is there an alternative to the ram? Must it be the ram, or are there other um, sacrifices that can be made? You should know that anything in Islam, anything that I want to do uh, in the religion of Islam, is there's no compulsion in anything. You must be fit to do a particular thing at a point in time. Mm. So if you are able to sacrifice cow, ram, and of course sheep, it is allowed. But if you don't have the means to do so, it is not compulsory on you okay. any longer for that purpose. Oh, in the face of this, now, several people have talked about living in harmony with each other, living peacefully and sharing. Yes. But in the face of the situation in the country where different people are clamoring for different things and the hate speech situation that the government is even cautioning about, what kind of lessons should Nigerians as a whole take out of this going beyond this celebration? Like I said earlier on, it depends on the fear of Allah. It, uh, all of us in all uh, across religious uh, faithfuls, we believe, we say it out that we fear God, we fear Allah, by whatever nomenclature we want to call it. But in, in reality, we don't. If we do, we should, we should have tolerance for one another. You know, we should be patient because it was utmost patience on the part of uh, the son, uh, uh, Ismail Ali Salatu Asalam, that he agreed to his father that I am ready. And Allah tested them, he passed them, the two of them. Mm -hmm. So we have to pick the utmost fear of God. Maybe I should say God this time around, so that people will know that it is the fear of God that is demanded from all of us at that point in time. It is utmost I mean, I mean, patience on the part. It is like we say now in Nigeria, for instance, we are expected to fear God in anything we say. If you have God in here, because the prophet of Islam says, al takwa ahunna, that is, the fear of Allah is not shown in your face. It doesn't show in my face. It doesn't show in anybody's face. It's me, meaning that you are supposed to be going with the fear of Allah anywhere you go. Thank you very much. Abdul Kamil Imam, Islamic Education, thank you for sharing your thoughts with us. Thank you. Yeah. And when a news across returns, the resident doctors suspend their strike.